The one name that I am liking going into tomorrow, well, I don't want to use the word tomorrow, but at least watching for the next couple of days of Amazon, right? Amazon and Amazon and Google are setting up very, very well to push to, to different type of channels. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody uh, had a good day today. Uh, it was a very weird day today. Usually um, our day is relied upon natural pivots, right? Um, Facebook, this one, that one, Tesla, everything the sorts. Uh, today was kind of a day that there weren't a lot of natural pivots. And usually when you don't have a, a lot of natural pivots, you have a couple of options. Obviously, uh, you can sit it out, right? If you're an inexperienced trader or just don't have enough, I guess, resources to, uh, to do other things, or you could kind of uh, go to plan B. Uh, plan B is always uh, dips into rising support, uh, watching option order flow in a lot of names and kind of trying to maneuver yourself uh, into a day. And when you look at today's action, you're going to see the scoreboard very, very flat, right? The Dow uh, was flat. The S&P was flat. The NASDAQ, again, even though it didn't do anything gangbusters today, it still wound up with a positive day. And if you look at all the names that we traditionally do trade, they did absolutely nothing. They were very, very weak today, did not participate. And it was a very, very quiet session if you traded strictly those names. So if you look at names, for example, uh, like a Netflix did absolutely nothing and a Facebook uh, did not absolutely nothing, but it's still very, very strong. Uh, Apple, you know, you know, just did okay. Again, still needs to take out this macro range here. Uh, AMAD's been a very hot runner recently, kind of relaxed a little bit. NVIDIA is still digesting gains. You kind of get it. The one name that I am liking going into tomorrow, well, I don't want to use the word tomorrow, but at least watching for the next couple of days of Amazon, right? Amazon and Amazon and Google are setting up very, very well to push to, to different type of channels. Uh, Amazon today, very, very strong. Uh, first sign of life here in a very, very long time. But we've been here before, right, guys? We've been here for the last three times has been in this top of the channel here. And we're saying, and we always say for the next day, well, we're watching this thing. If we could just confirm, maybe it could finally wake up. Maybe this time is different, right? Maybe this time is different. But again, as you can see here, it stopped right at the 50 day moving average. We still have this, this channel to get through and this macro channel to confirm. But they did come for the weekly uh, 3,300 calls today. Uh, they did come for next week's and next month's 34 and 34, 50 calls. So again, maybe this time is different. Maybe it's not. Uh, Google, same thing. Google is kind of hanging in there, right? It's kind of sitting there digesting this move. It's not going up. Uh, you know, it's not going up. It's not going down. It's just kind of digesting this channel. If the market finally wakes up and beta finally wakes up, maybe Google could finally go. Um, so this is kind of what's on tap. Like I said, Apple still needs a little bit more a little bit more, maybe push this whole entire range. So these are things on deck. What what went absolutely nuts today were names that number one were short, very very uh, heavily shorted names, uh, names that I probably never heard of before, probably names that I've never seen before. But the common denominator in all these names th this morning and, and this afternoon was big aggressive option flow. And when you look at names, for example, like a wish, again, how many of you guys have ever heard wish? I've never heard of wish. But right around here, they started coming for the 10, the 12, the $15 calls. And this thing just went absolutely bananas. Names like uh, VLDR that again, you know, I've traded before in the past, but not is something that you are really, you know, really watching. Uh, names like, I think it was ASTS, right? ASTS, these weird names, same thing. They were coming for the options market, uh, deep out of the money, uh, near-term expiration, and they really ran the hell out of this thing. Even uh, a name like AHT that I didn't hear till about today, like literally today, uh, we'll talk about the individual pivots. There wasn't a lot of individual pivots, but names like this really caught a bit in the options market, and they really showed you how strong the continuation 
of speculation money flow. Although names like AMC, for example, kind of relaxed today, right? I guess relaxed. And a name like GME, I guess relaxed. I mean, considering it's only up 20, right? You could see the distribution in other names coming off a channel. You know, are these the products of meme forums or whatever? We don't know, right? We don't know. I don't, I don't, I personally don't follow this stuff uh, close enough to understand. But what what is working right now, if you're especially if the uh, beta market is dead. What I looked for today and what we traded today, for example, like I traded today dips in stocks like uh, Ride, right? Like a name like Ride had a really good move before ugly reversal. You, you had a really big move on Ride into the option flow market. Caught it on a 60-minute dip and it ripped up right away. Names like this, names like, what was the other names? Wow, I'm so, I'm so tired. I can't even think of some, some of the other uh, names. Oh, Agen, A-G-E-N, another name that caught a really strong bid, right? It broke out of this channel. They started coming for the $5 calls on repeat, one after another, after another. These names, you can see here on the 60-minute channels, they came into the 60-minute channel, defended it, just really ripped up. So I think that's what the game is. It might spill over uh, into tomorrow's session. There's definitely names that I like that are traditional names. Um, you know, maybe like a PayPal uh, that looks really good. It's kind of consolidating, maybe Dell, if you guys remember, I had this Dell on the watch list for several days. Maybe this thing just needs option flow, right? Maybe this thing really just needs option flow to kind of get this thing going. Uh, obviously, I'm watching uh, Amazon uh, over the 50-day moving average. But then you get names like this. Let me give you guys a couple of names that I'm definitely watching uh, for tomorrow. Look at a stock like Root, right? Another name that had big call buying today. They came in for uh, the 10s, the 12s, the 15. I think I even saw... The $25 calls. Hell, you know, this thing confirms today's channel. Maybe this thing has a day too. Look at a name uh, like Huya, right? No joking. For all you guys who are Eastern Europeans, Russians, Serbians, from, from Hungary, you know what the word Huya means, right? It's kind of the same thing as Dick's Sporting Goods, but it's not, right? Anyway, Huya looks really good. Uh, Huya looks really good. You have a lot of big uh, expansion volume. Um, I didn't notice that that had any flow, but you know it looks pretty good. If it could consolidate this channel and confirm it tomorrow, maybe you get a move into the 50-day moving average as well. So there's definitely things to do. And a group that woke up into the close today um, were the solar names, right? You had First Solar uh, waking up here into the close. Uh, SPWR, who I kind of kind of like for tomorrow. You can see this big expansion volume. If it could reclaim the 50-day moving average, it wakes up. So I definitely want to keep an eye on the solar group as well. So, you know, look, I you can't plan for tomorrow's session the traditional, you know, this stock is looking good on the beta name. This stock is going looking good on the beta name. You have to be a little bit more open-minded. I you know it's not that I like trading these stocks, but I've traded them now in the last several days. Um, I've bought dips into these things into rising 60-minute support. After the initial breakout, it's been working. It's been working, uh, you know, pretty decent. The question is, how long can this continue to work until they finally pull the plug on the whole uh, on the whole speculation group? Again, nobody knows, right? Nobody knows the answer. Uh, you can only uh, prepare for it. So, as you can see by the Twitter feed today, there wasn't a lot of pivots, right? And that was the whole point. There wasn't a lot of pivots today, but the ones that went, the ones that confirmed, actually gave some cash flow. Um, IBM 149 needs to build. Again, not a huge move. Not a huge move at all. So it took out 149. Uh, the earnings highs went to like 150, 20. I don't know, not, nothing big there on, uh, on that. Uh, I was watching Boeing uh, pre-market off that 257. Uh, 5720 level never got there. Uh, Facebook took out the 338, put its initial high, um, and then it kind of just sat there. Did absolutely nothing. Never, never gave a second entry. Uh, eyes, we were watching this thing for a couple of days. That seven dollar break needs to confirm 720. Again, not a big move at all. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these names just kind of like died out. It took out the 715, 720, went to like 732, and then just completely died out. I mean, again, nothing really there. Uh, Zoom, nice move. This was a continuation off of 
Uh, the previous pivot of 340, uh, 347 is the last macro supply. Any close is bullish. Again, not a huge move. It, you know, really not a huge move. It took out that 340, took out 347, and went from right to the supply zone at 350. As you can see here in a second, I'll show you 350 was supply. Uh, Jumia is still like never got there. Guys, keep an eye on this MNMD. Big five dollar call buying on repeat on this thing over and over again the last couple of days. Uh, EA didn't do anything, went up like 20, 30 cents before it reversed. Wasn't a lot of juice and a lot of bigger names. Uh, Roku, again, 346 uh, needs to confirm, never got up there. Tesla actually traded um, on, on a dip, a nice dip on the first move. But suddenly, you know, again, look, they, they had really good news pre-market. And, you know, they were buying that 623, 626 uh, stock pre-market. And it just gave up all its gains. So anytime a stock gives up its gains on a good PR. It's not really a good sign. Not necessarily short for tomorrow, but we have to start watching for lower highs for the next uh, couple of days there. Uh, yeah, so three, yeah, 47 on ZM, 350's next supply and hit that perfectly. Uh, IBM highs on deck. Uh, again, not a lot today. Really not a lot today. Uh, AHT, for those of you guys who are holding this name, again, here's the point. Again, the same common denominator. Uh, AHT 610 rejected. Uh, several times macro for small cap players. Uh, buyers are coming in. Repeat of the of June 18, 750 calls. And this thing is seven bucks after the close. If you guys are still in this thing, I know Jeremy and SP are still in this thing. This thing's pushing well over the seven dollars. Here is a 610 uh, that we talked about. And now the stock is just going absolutely gangbusters after the close uh, into the sevens. Congratulations for all you guys. Uh, who caught uh, that as well? Um, that's it, right? Six, 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 ten needs a new base. This thing is at seven uh, after the close. So um, I am watching some beta names tomorrow. Um, I don't think tomorrow will be the cleanest day for them, just because of just so much attention uh, in other places. And again, as much as we 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 love trading beta, and there's definitely opportunities. The point is, and again, and I say this you know, pretty much on a regular basis, we have to trade the market that we have, not the market uh, that we want. If it was up to me, you know, Tesla would be coming out of channels and it'd be a $30 range. But hey, maybe that happens tomorrow to Amazon. You never know. That's why we play the game. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. We're in the middle of this crazy storm. I already lost um, internet like once already uh, this afternoon uh, after the close. So hopefully it could stay up uh, for this broadcast. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow.